Plessy vs. Ferguson, 1896. U.S. Bill of Rights, 1791. Rosa Parks, Bus Boycott, 1950. Five. 36 hours of steady rainfall have left many homes in the metro area knee deep in floodwaters. Power was out in three hours in eastern metro because of downed hydro lines and police reported. Little Rock 9, 55. Correction, 1957. 57, Little Rock 9. 57, Little Rock 9. Buenos dias, mama. Buenos dias. I'll give you a nice hot bath after school tonight. Gracias. It should make you feel better. Pórtate. Por favor. I will. I will. Lo prometo. You got the money? Is that how we say hello now? I'll have the money. Jackie, I'm not playing around. I got people betting on me tonight. Yeah, including me. I told you. It's a deal. You put in the cash now and we double the profits when I win. Split 50-50. And what if you don't win? You know I will. Can we go to the diner? I'm starving. Aren't you starting at that new school today? And what's your point? Are you trying to go for some new kind of record or something? Get kicked out on the very first day this time? When have I ever cared? Nineteen fifty-five. Wrong. Man, if I don't get an A on this test, I'm gonna be screwed. It's gonna mess up my whole ring. How's that even possible? You are the biggest nerd I know. You're wearing a harmonica around your neck as a fashion statement. Sonny, 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 sonny. <laughs> Let me stop you right there. This harmonica isn't a fashion statement. It's a beacon of romance. Mm -hmm. Lindsay Schaffler, first period, chemistry. Women like a man with passion, intensity. You wouldn't understand. You've been with the same girl since like the third grade. Wrong. And how is Adrian? Busy. We're both busy. Yeah. Two valedictorians in a relationship sounds like a really fun hang. <sighs> At least your kids will be smart. Whatever. Just keep playing your harmonica, man. <laughs> Finish your application? Finishing touches. Well, make sure you leave time for me to rewrite it. Last time I checked, 
I have a better grade in English. Is this how you two flirt? I'm gonna get you guys flirting for dummies, all right? It's kind of like, you know. Hello! So, today is the big day. Debate time, 10% of your grade. We feeling ready? All right, all right. You've been prepping for this all year. Partners assigned today, 24 hours to prep, just like the big debate teams do. But we're not a debate team. We're a history class filled with some people who like public speaking and some people who don't. Good preparation can quell any nerves, Mr. Son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, and you are our new student, Jackie Marquez Rodriguez. Everyone say hi. 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 Rodriguez? Mendoza. So? You know, I was just, you know. Mm, no, I don't know. Jackie, your partner will have to catch you up on the semester. Speaking of which, here are the teams for tomorrow's debate. Adrian and Noah, Drake and Jennifer, Jason and Sydney, Jackie and Sonny, David and Daniel. Let's start over. I'm Sonny. Mendoza, apparently. Yeah, you picked the bad first day. Pretty big debate tomorrow. I can help you catch up after school. I can't today, sorry. Are you sure? You're gonna wanna prepare, trust me. I don't trust anybody, Mendoza. Let's get into some review, shall we? Civil disobedience. What is it? Jackie, civil disobedience, give it a shot. Uh, it's like trying to change a government by not following the rules. That's a good start. Anyone else? It's the refusal to comply with certain laws or to pay taxes as a peaceful form of political protest. Correct. So, can Dr. Radovich, she likes this to be a little more specific. Dr. Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks. What do we think about civil disobedience? It's the most effective form of protest, in my opinion. <laughs> Jackie, you don't agree with her? <laughs> no, I think it's a stupid opinion. Tell us why. Well, I think you should fight for what you want, like um, Malcolm X. Disagree. Violence is never better. If your dad was a police officer, you'd feel the same way. Your dad's a cop? So what? Well, I bet he's not so civil to my friends. I bet they don't always deserve it. <laughs> whoa, 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 Jackie, calm down! <laughs> Guidance counselor, now! Yikes. Jackie. I'm Mrs. Mendoza. Yeah, let's just get this over with. Uh, detention, suspension. Well, you're smart. You have good test scores. Your grades aren't great, but... You remind me of myself. Heard it before. Oye. Entiendo. I was kicked out of five schools by the time I was your age. Five. I grew up with no mother, three older brothers. I fought everyone, even my brother who ended up being a boxer. I like to think that I was his first trainer. <laughs> Eventually, I learned. Learn what? Not everyone is against you. Have one. Go on. Uh... Hey, I thought I'd find you here. Is it just me, or is there something off about the new girl? Oh, she's rude, for sure. I really have no idea how I'm gonna do my debate with her tomorrow. 
I'm tired that you're waiting to hear back from the Provincetown Summer Program, and you need a good grade on this test in order to qualify for a scholarship. Wait, you haven't heard back from them, right? You need to distress. You should take up something, a hobby. I punched the bag. Punching a bag at 4 a.m. doesn't count. If anything, it's making you more tired. Uh, all right. See you tomorrow, I guess, then. All right. myself. You ready? You ready? Box! There's nothing we can do. I'm out of whole rack, Maria. He owes me a second round. Tonight? Chess tonight? I bet two rounds on Cliff and so did your roaches. Hey, but we're gonna have to find someone to fight Caleb. I'll do it. What are you doing here? I followed you. You fight? Enough. And I need a good grade, so maybe we could help each other out. Mo, 
We got a sub. I'll wrap you, rookie. Touch gloves. We're bumping, boy. Bump him. Bump his gloves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Fuck. fall getting out of the bathtub. Why didn't you wait for me? The water was still running when we got here. She could have drowned. You're her primary <sighs> caregiver? Lo siento, Mika. The attitude. I'm not happy about this. I want to lay low while my mom's in the hospital. 
How bad is it? Doctor said maybe two months. And I don't want to be in jail when she gets out. I just shouldn't have trusted you in the first place. Hey, I've got your back. I owe you your mom's money, and I'm gonna get it for you. Yeah, with my help. All right, darling, I'll see you later. You ready? I've done this a million times. You do the talking, I'll do the grabbing. Excuse me, ma'am, could you yes. help me find my car? I can't seem to remember where I parked. Oh, no. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Hey man, why a long face? Just gross stuff. Ryan's making me go skiing for spring break with all her friends. What's so bad about that? Well, I hate skiing and plus her friends are kind of annoying. Oh, come on man, it's gonna be great. Hey. Crap, I forgot my debate prep. Really? It's not like you to be unprepared. I've been having a lot on my mind lately. Anything I can do to help? Get me assigned a different debate partner? <laughs> I don't know, man. Is it just me or is she very scary? I don't know what she is, other than a problem for me. Here, I got some blank cards for you to take mine. All right, thanks. <laughs> yeah, All right, everybody. You have five minutes to prep with your partner before your debate. Go. It's Ramona over at Attaway. Hey, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I have a student here I'm a little worried about. And in closing, World War I would have never happened if the Archduke had not been assassinated, so thank you. It's excellent work, both of you. Adrian and Noah, Sonny and Jackie, you're up. Without laws, societies cease to exist. And even if a law is harsh, it must be obeyed. This is at the core of one of our oldest and most important legal guides, the Code of Hammurabi. It you got this? Yeah, for sure. With scaled punishments, adjusting an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And in conclusion, that is why, without laws, societies cease to exist. Uh. Laws are, um... Sometimes laws need to be broken if society isn't giving you what you need. Excuse me? Is there something you need to say? Because I think you've had your time. I don't have anything to say because it didn't make any sense. You know it doesn't make sense? Your face. And how it looks like you're always experiencing a bad smell. Okay, okay. Mm. What Jackie's trying to say is that uh, if we look back at the Code of Hammurabi, which was written way back in, um, long time ago, we see that... I'm sorry. Can we have time to look back at our notes, please? Hey, hey, what was that? You blew that for us. Sorry, school's just not my thing. I needed a good grade on that. You promised you'd study after what I did last night. Listen. I don't owe you anything. I was trying to help you. Yeah, and you got lit up, so. I guess funny's not my thing. I don't know. I saw the way you looked in there. You loved it. Even though you lost, you got skills. What's wrong? Nothing you need to worry about. One of the things about going to school on the East Coast is that all the schools are so old. Did you know Provincetown was founded in 1789? That's insane. Yeah, too bad I'll never get to go there.
It was just one bad grade, and it wasn't even your fault. It's just Jackie. It's like she wanted to ruin it. Don't stress about it. You applied to that summer school program based on your current grades. You know, 75% of the kids that attend the summer program get into Promise Zone? Well, we're going to get in. And there's co-ed dorms. Yeah. It's just she's so frustrating, so stubborn. Are you still thinking about Jackie? Let it go. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Hey, do you know the answer to 17B? 14th Amendment. Thanks, babe. I'm paying you to help me out, not slow me down. <laughs> Sweep faster. What happened? I don't know. I needed the money to pay back my mom, Maria. So you let him talk you into something stupid to get it again. Cliff said his court date is tomorrow. He might be in there a bit because of his priors. This place, man. This place is the only home we've all got. Don't start blaming it for your mistakes. But I get it. My Roach guys are unhappy too. Cliff losing was a big blow. Just trying to put out the flames where I can and make some more money myself. Yeah. Hey, who's that new guy that went to bat for you the other night? <laughs> He's not really a fighter. Could have fooled me. Relax. No, 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 no. I know my rights, I didn't do it. Do what? I'm not talking to you. Listen, listen, this doesn't have to get ugly. Now from what I know you're living here alone, I could take you into state custody, but luckily, you have someone who's looking out for you. Who? What are you doing here? Late studying? Provincetown? You got in? I got in. Ah! I never had any doubt, mijo. <sighs> what about the financial aid, though? Oh, that's all covered, too. <sighs> I was so worried about how we're gonna make that work. You don't gotta worry about nothing with me, Mom. I got it. Okay, you too. I'm headed off early. I'll see you at school. Okay. Why'd you lie to her? I didn't lie. Yeah, hey, you did. Takes one to know one. Whatever. So how long do you think Jackie's gonna be living with you? I don't know. 
the whole rest of the school year? I don't know. Are you two getting along? I don't know. Dude, are you listening to me or are you just saying, I don't know? Bro, I'm sorry. Something else is just on my mind. You want to talk about it? No, I'm good. Thank you. This call will be recorded and monitored. I have a collect call from Cliff, an inmate at Millwood Penitentiary. That was just not a good time, Cliff. Well, it's the only time I've got. Not like I have a cell phone in my pocket in here, Jackie. Yeah, sorry. What's going on? How's Moe's? Everything's fine. I'm gonna get out real soon and come stay with you so you don't have to be alone while your mom's away. It's cool. I'm fine. Everything will be back to normal soon. I promise. Okay, I gotta go. anything to worry about. It's gonna be amazing when we get to do it together. I don't know. Without financial aid, there's no way I could do it. We will find you a way to make the money. $10,000, Adrian. It's gonna take me forever to make that. Not necessarily. Not now, Jackie. You know how you could cover this little program and then some? What do you mean? What is she talking about? Nothing. She's joking. Why don't you mind your own business? Yo, yo. You wanna yo, speak up? chill. Chill out. Jackie. Just the person I was looking for. Look, Jackie, I took you in to help you. And against the principal's wishes. I did it because I come from the same place that you're from. I know what it's like to struggle. And I know what it's like to feel different than your peers. Thank you. But if you're going to live at my house, then you're going to have to follow my rules. There and here. Maybe a foster home would have been easier. Well, I thought that you might be interested in this. What's that? Emergency medical training. Look, it's a great program, and you'll come out certified. You know, there's lots of jobs for people with EMT certification. Okay, thank you, but I don't think I have the time to take hospital classes or whatever. Well, the training is actually here at school. A few hours after last period, two days a week. Cool, but I don't think they take me with my grades, my record. With my recommendation, I think they would. Plus, if something happened to ever go wrong with your mom again, you would actually know what to do. I know how to take care of my own mother. Think about it. Yeah, okay, maybe. Is that it? Are we done here? I'll see you at home tonight. Hello, my name is Sunny Mendoza, and I'd like to inquire about an open position. Yes, born and raised here. Yes, I have some experience. Can I come in right now? No, sir, I have school. Oh, you don't employ students. Yeah, I have some experience. Can I come in right now? That sucks. I was just looking to inquire about the possible job of Hello? My name is Sunny Mendoza and... Hello? My name is Sunny Mendoza. Hello? My name is Sunny Mendoza. Hello? My name is Sunny Mendoza and... Yes, I have some experience. That's great. No, sir, I have school. Oh, just hang up on me then. There's a janitor who dropped at the chicken hut. Oh, wait, you need five years experience. This is impossible. We just have to keep trying. Nobody wants to hire me. It's so unfair. People are so... Racist. Don't be like that. Honestly, like... I hate seeing you this way. Come on.
Hey, where are you going? Your favorite place. The boxing gym? I knew you were into it. Moses is old school, been around since forever. When his son used to be a big fighter around here. And then he blew up, and then... But then what? Come with me, maybe you'll hear it firsthand. Mo takes care of us. It's not the same as what you have, but it's all some of us got, so... Do you think I could really make money there? Only one way to find out. Beautiful. You remember Maria? <laughs> hey, rookie. Yeah. You look good. Feeling all right for another week? I'm good. Maria is my boyfriend Cliff's sister. She's also the accountant here. <laughs> Don't tell Mo. That's Rock. Hey, Maria. You think Mo would give Sunny some time? And some cash on little fights? Nah, he won't train with someone this old. Well, Maria, I think Sunny's got a shot here. Plus, it'd be a good opportunity to win back the money, remember? Pay back my mom, get the cash back that Cliff lost on your guys. Sorry, Manita, but Mo only trains with kids who've been jabbing since they was in diapers. He has no interest in working with the rookie. Too much risk. <laughs> What's the risk? <laughs> you think Mo's gonna train you for fights now? After a couple bolo punches in the ring? <laughs> <laughs> just one or two. <laughs> it's never just one or two. Why do I keep hearing my name? Why don't you ask him yourself? Hi, Mo. I mean, Mr. Mo. Um, Whatever you're trying to ask me, you're not off to a good start. Mr. Mo, I need to make some cash. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it. Mm -hmm. My uncle, he used to box in Mexico, so I kind of have a little experience. And uh, what I'm trying to ask is, can you train me? Please, can you give me a shot? All right, be here at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Jamie? We'll see. Jackie! Hey. What's up? What, what are you doing here? Um, is this the EMT club or whatever? Oh no, this is the Poets for America club. You know, it's, it's obviously not because there's, you know, it's mannequins, but... <clears throat> uh, so what are you doing here? Uh, Mrs. Mendoza, she, you know, oh. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, hey, you're in luck because this is the coolest club around, yeah. It does look pretty cool. I know, right? And we get these walkie-talkies and then we can talk to each other like, Dr. Jackie, Dr. J you know, and then you got to answer, say, over. It's it's actually really cool, but um, just, just give me one session, okay? And I promise you'll be hooked. Besides, we could use some girls in here because, like, you know, it's a lot of guys. Well, that's a little sexist. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like, you know, we want less. <laughs> relax, relax. I'm just messing with you. <sighs> right, right. <laughs> well, hey, I'm, I'm glad you're here. He's dead. Hey, what's up? I think I got you an interview. Yeah? Yeah, at the slab. My dad's old sergeant retired and he took over. Oh nice, that place is cool. Yeah, and he's willing to pay you at a junior manager level so you can make more money faster. Really? He doesn't even know me. I know, but I told him about you and the summer program and our big dream. 
He wants to help. <laughs> wow. Mr. Jacobs will meet you at the slab at 6 p.m. after they close. We work way too hard to let a little money stand in your way. See, Mama, this is the work I'm doing in school. It's an EMT class, so I can be just like the guys that came to help you. Mija, concéntrate en tus estudios, no en mí. I am, Mama. ¿Cómo van las cosas con tu novio? ¿Cómo está él? Fine. Mi amor, él no es bueno para ti ni para tu futuro, ¿entiende? Yeah, I guess. Prométeme que cuando yo regrese a casa, tú ya habrás terminado con él, ¿sí? We'll see. That's what they did for you. And then this is what we're going to do next week. Check it out. How was your mom? Good. Getting stronger. Maybe I'll go visit her next time. Why are you being so nice to me today? I'm just grateful you got me in here. All right, let's get him wrapped up. Gloves on. On it. Does this make you my Stitch? Your what? Stitch Duran, famous cut man for Rocky, comes back in Creed. All right, we're watching Rocky the moment we get home. One, two, one, two. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold on, you got to be different now. You got a lot of power with that right. You're throwing it right. Combination. Left, right. Left, right. You got to move your rear foot the same distance you move your front. That's right. Bring them back to your guard position. Take the move. Don't overreach. Just do that for now. Turn on your toe like that, like you're watching a cigarette. See? You got to get down and move out of the way. Or you're going to get smacked again. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah! Now one, two, slip, slip. You do one, two, three. When he goes like that, what's open? Body. There you go. That's it, Vlad. Yeah, what are you going to follow that one up with? Okay. Give him a right hook. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it? Uh. 5.45? Oh my, I gotta go. Leaving so fast? Yeah, I got a job interview. Son, if you want to take boxing seriously, you're gonna have to make the gym your priority. I do, I just have to... I'm gonna give you two a minute. Take a seat. You know why I agreed to train with you the other day. It's because you're fearless. He blindly jumps into that ring with no regard. Shows you got heart. Heart I haven't seen in an upstart in a long time. You remind me of my son. He was a fighter, right? Was. But he gave it all he had. I don't have time anymore for people who don't. Hello? This is Sunny Mendoza. You blew off the interview I set up for you? No, I didn't blow it off. I called in, I said I couldn't make it. 15 minutes before. I wasn't feeling well. I called in a major favor for you. You made us both look awful. To be honest, Adrian, I don't think I'm interested in this job anymore. Excuse me? I don't think I need it. I've been looking at new ways to make money. Would this have anything to do with your new roommate? No. Come on, chill out, Adrian. What's going on? 
<laughs> Look, Adrian, we're gonna talk later. I... I don't like any of this. If by this you mean me, then the feeling's mutual. You're being so shady about this. What's going on with you? Look, here's the truth. Jackie's friend, she got me into this telemarketing work. What are you marketing? Home equipment, gym equipment. I make calls from home, make pretty good money, and I still got time for schoolwork, so it works out. I just don't trust Jackie. Jackie? You don't even know her. You don't have feelings for her, right? Jackie? Jackie? <laughs> She's like a sister to me. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, all right? Me too. I gotta go. Okay. Hey, Ricky, you looking fly. Yeah? Yeah. Mama has it. Mom's getting you ready for the big fight next week. No way. <laughs> Don't say I told you. Seek your safe for me. Well, then, here's another one. No matter who you fight, my money's on you. So don't screw this up. at the gym later than usual tonight. Yeah, I got a big fight coming up. Where were you? Here, studying for the big history exam tomorrow. Shouldn't you be studying too? I am. On your phone? I'm watching old videos of Mo Boxing. I meant for the exam. I got bigger things now, Jackie. I gotta get this money for Provincetown. I gotta get money to pay back your mom. I have things to do. You sound like Cliff. He always said boxing was for the money, just the money, but really it was to fight. It was his drug of choice. Jackie, don't compare me to Cliff. When did you stop caring about everybody at Mo's gym? What do you mean? I've been at the gym, watching you train. Barely. Half the time you look bored. Maybe I've got some other stuff on my mind. Like what? I don't know, school? EMT stuff, my mom? Don't forget though, you need my boxing career? Pay back your mom. And don't forget who got you into that gym in the first place. I know a lot more about this world than you do, Sonny. Be careful. So, Jackie, I hear that you're getting good grades in EMT class. Yeah, it's cool. Yes, it is. I'm really happy to hear that you're enjoying it. Maybe you could rub off on Sonny a little bit. Dr. Radovich told me about how you're exhausted in class every day. No, oh, I'm up late night studying. Funny, because I haven't really seen you much around the house. Yeah, I know. I'm at Adrian studying. Really? I haven't really seen the two of you together in a while. I thought maybe there was some sort of tension. Mom. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so you're on her side all the time? Listen, mijo. I see everything that's going on. So don't try to pull a fast I'm one on me. I'm not pulling anything, Mom. Okay. Well, eat up. Your face is looking a little thin lately. Maybe you should take it easy on those punching bags downstairs, huh? Class, tests have been graded and will be passed out shortly. Uh. Yes, you should indeed be frightened. This was worse than the fall of the Ottoman Empire. Not bad, Drake. 
but a little below your usual. A B plus? This is gonna drop my GPA. Is there extra credit? I'm afraid not. Sunny. It's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. Oh my god. What is going on? I fell. There's nothing more. Chill out. We need to talk later. Oh, we don't. All right, it's time. Time for what? Let me prove you're ready for what's next. You ready? We're going 10. Keep it clean. Ding, ding. Fast like lightning, hard like thunder. You make it rain, what? Yeah? You're watching? I'm always watching. When it's you. You know, this fight could be good business for you. I'll make sure of it. Hmm. How much money do you think I can make? Might be as much as a thousand. I'm gonna need more than that. I'll see what I can do. Hey, you hungry? I got a girlfriend. Really? First I'm hearing of her. Where's she been these past few weeks? It's tricky. Mm. <laughs> it shouldn't be.
Did you know one out of every 20 girls has a one in five probability of having a crush on you? <laughs> Is that a bruise? Yeah, I guess I got a bruise. You guess? Are you okay? Because if you got hurt and hit your head, there's like a 50% chance you have a concussion. Is that your professional EMT opinion? <sighs> you been getting into fights? No, oh, man, I've been working out, punching my punching bag. Is the bag punching you back? No, why? Dude, what's going on with you? You've been running late to school, showing up with bruises, failing tests. A D isn't failing. It is for you. Look, dude, you can tell me what it is. I'm not gonna tell anybody else. Listen, if something was up, I would tell you, right? Until uh -huh. then, we should just focus on that one girl that has a crush on me. <laughs> it's gotta be one, right? There has to be one. Heard you aced another history test. <laughs> Think there's a direct correlation between your EMT work and your academic success. Maybe. Maybe Sonny should join this club. His grades are a mess. Yeah, I know. Any idea why? Um, he's just been uh, busy, I guess. Look, I'm just worried about him. Yeah, I know. He'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> Nobody's ever really said that to me before. Really? Hey, would you want to maybe go and uh, get ice cream with me? Or, or coffee, coffee, we can do coffee. <laughs> Just, you know, anything you want, really. I have a boyfriend. Wait, really? Where is he? In jail, actually. Wow, wow, that's, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, whatever. It, um... It happens when you're from where I'm from, so. Right, right. Well, hey, I hope everything works out for him and I guess for you guys. Thanks. That's it, come on. Move your feet. Body, head. One, two, flip. That's it. Double body, double body. Next. Good job, kid. Thanks, coach. So, let's talk about this guy who went up against this uh, Vlad. Yeah. This guy's a beast. So did you watch some of that video I sent you? Yeah, he got a big left. Good, good, what else? I noticed something. It might be nothing, so I, I don't want to bother you. Come on, tell me. Uh, he takes a big breath before he throws a big punch. I don't know, I feel like it might be a tail or something. <laughs> exactly. That's nice work. Yeah? yeah? I didn't know boxing was like a science. It's pretty beautiful if you think about it. It's a science and an art. That's why all the smart ones and all the best ones are like you, kid. Provincetown. Provincetown? I wonder if they got a boxing club or something there. Maybe. Or maybe you could, uh, maybe you could make this your career. Not go to college, coach? There's a life in this. A good one. Hey, you can, you can always go to school later. Maybe after the summer program, if I make the money to go. You will, and you can. You're gonna make a lot of money. And after that, we'll see what comes next for you. Get out.
birthday, son. Guess what? I found someone like you. He's fast. He's a hard worker. I haven't seen someone with this much promise since you. I miss you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Not too bad. Hey, I spent way more time in this place than you. This Jackie's gonna lose her job as a hype girl, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Mission accepted. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Adrian! 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 What? I just don't understand how you could lie to me over and over and over again. You could throw your life away at this disgusting place. How did you even find out about... Jackie. I knew it. It wasn't just her. My uncle, he's a fighter down in Mexico. I'm a natural agent. You should come see me. So that's it. You're a boxer now. No more Provincetown. No more of our big plans together. No, we could do both. Not with me, you can't. See, you're doing really well in history, too. And you finished your EMT class. Congrats, Jackie. Thanks. I mean, this is really exciting stuff. You're doing great work here. What's wrong? Are you a little bit worried? You should be really proud of yourself. I don't know. I feel kind of opposite, actually. Like, guilty, you know? I mean, I haven't talked to my boyfriend or my mom in a while. I mean, my mom's happy, I guess. But I just have a lot of free time now that she's gone. It's like, ever since I moved in with you, I, I don't have to worry as much, I guess. You know, um, when I was married, to Sonny's dad. I used to always be bogged down by his issues. But when he left, I had all this free time. So, I became a teacher. Yeah. It'll take time, but I promise you'll adjust without the drama of that life. Hey, what, not feeling well again today? No, can I stay home from school again? If you tell me what's really going on with you. Come on, Adrian, investigate people for a living. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, oh, is this, this girl stuff? Cause you know, you can call your Aunt Penny. It's not that, it's Sunny. Oh, it's boy stuff. I don't know what's going on with him. Last week he was basically valedictorian, and now he's like a professional fighter. What are you talking about? He's gotten into boxing. Since when? Since that new girl Jackie showed up. Jackie Rodriguez? Yeah. How do you know her? I was on the scene when her mom got hurt. What happened? It's a long story. Listen, you need to have some compassion for Jackie, okay? She hasn't had an easy time. Yeah. And ever since she showed up, neither have I. I know. Hang in there, kiddo. Hey, 
so you're gonna be at the fight later, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to make it if I get out in time. <sighs> yeah, try. Well, I have that big physical test tonight for my EMT certification. Jackie, you know this is important to me. You're supposed to be in my corner. Well, not more important than this test, Sonny. I mean, I'm on my way to becoming a real EMT here. I could start working, make money. I'll win the money for you. I don't want that money. What's that supposed to mean? I just want to take care of myself a little bit more now, you know? Samo, Maria, Cliff, they don't take care of you? It's different for me. You know that. I'll try and make it tonight. I promise. Yeah. All right. Hard, all right. Thank you, bro. Watch yourself. Hey. So what's your plan with Sunny? I think he's ready. For what? Even if he beats Vlad. You don't know how strong he is. And I can take him from here to the real amateur circuit and eventually get him pro because I see his potential and I have the power to do it. Which leads me to my next question. Hey, yeah, what's that? Is it about him, or is it about you? The last I checked, you run the money, not the training. Yeah, but it's different with this kid. Yeah. Why is that? You like him or something? <laughs> maybe. And maybe I also want to keep him around a little longer. so my guys can make some money off of him. Don't mix business and love, Maria. I've seen that go down the wrong way way too many times here. And I don't like it. What do you know about Jackie? I know she was super scary at first, but now she's nice. And she can wrap a mean tourniquet. I think she's cool, but I asked her out last week and it did not go well. Sunny hasn't talked to you about her? <sighs> no, I haven't talked to Sunny in a while. Apparently there's a lot that I don't know about him. So what happened with you two? We broke up. I saw him basically kissing another girl at the gym. The gym? Where Sunny's boxing, where Sunny's fighting. Is that why he always has blood on his knuckles? And that weird bruise on his arm? How'd I miss that? Turns out there's a lot about him we don't know. Jeez. Boxing. I can box. prepared for this. Yep. You got this. I got this. All right, fight smart first. Wear them down with your brain, and then go in hard with the punches. Hard with the punches. I got this. Love you, kid. Love you too, mom. Love you too. Got a mile light, oh my. This must be the new guy. The name is Sonny. <laughs> I didn't come here to introduce myself. Just want to know what the featherweights are looking like. I'm willing to show you right now. Relax, kid. You're not my type. Cause I heard the kid making moves. Cause I heard I ain't gonna lose. All this money is what I choose. Get it all, never is. The boy better bring it home tonight. He will. We'll see. <laughs> Fighters, corners. Come together. Boys, we ready? Okay, you got your instructions in your dressing room. Any questions? Protect yourself at all times. You want to make this a clean fight. All right, touch up. Let's get it on.
Russell. She's on the day called on the other side of town. We box here. So, what's he doing? Punching me. The stone-minded punchers are a dime a dozen, kid. If that's all you're about, then you're wasting my time. So, what's he doing? Oh, no. Well, then you better figure it out before you get back to my corner, or we're done. Hey coach, you got a second? Oh, for my prize fighter? Betcha. There's a big invitational fight coming up. Just wanna know if I'm on. Are you on? You think you should be? Yeah, after tonight? After tonight? You're gonna be in every fight I've gotten, so I think I need to add. Well, I've been thinking. I wanna fight Yuri. Do you like that? What? Yeah. You wanna fight Yuri Washington? Look, kid, he's not in the same weight class as you. That don't matter. He could cut weight, and I could bulk up. We can make this happen. He'd still be 10 pounds heavier than you. Yuri's a street baller. I'll have you on the mat in one punch. You seen what I did tonight? I caught him with everything I threw. I put up a good fight. With all due respect, kid, because I like you. You have no idea what you're talking about. Let's talk about what you were telling me. You haven't seen a kid with as much talent as me in a while. And you were telling me that. I think you uh, have a good shot at making this a career. But I'll make that call when I think you're ready. Whatever, Mo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sit down. You see this? You see it? That's a deviated septum. I had my nose broke three times. Takes me an hour to get going in the morning. You know why? Because I had a trainer that put me in a bout with someone I shouldn't have been with. I didn't have the same skill set. But I thought I did. I thought it was all that. I was fast. I was bad. But there was somebody better. It's a dangerous business, kid. It's risky. There's even worse things like... There's worse things that can happen in there. I'm not gonna let that happen to you. You gotta trust me, son. Just trust me. Whatever, Mom. Hey, let me give you a ride. Oh, I'm good. I just want some time to clear my mind. You've been spending less and less time at the gym lately. Seems like your mind should be pretty clear. I'm just focusing on some other things. I'm trying to stay out of trouble. Jackie, this is your home, your family. You can get out, but one way or another, you'll always end up back in. Yo, 
almost just took out my right eye. Sorry. Adrian said you're fighting now. Thanks for letting me know. Why didn't you tell me this yourself? Relax. I do something with you guys one time, and all of a sudden it's a big deal. Who are you? And what are you doing with my best friend? Whatever. Of you. you should have. I could explain. Don't. But mom. Don't mom me, not now. Do you know what this means? I mean, it means I study harder, I stay late after class, I do whatever it takes to bring this up. No, this means I have to report this to the Provincetown program. Wait, why? Because it's a failing grade. They accepted you on the basis that you would keep up your grade point average, which was a 3.9 just four months ago. <laughs> What's going on, Sonny? Is there something that you want to talk to me about? I'm just not grasping the information. That's it. Attaway is now sponsoring a free after-school tutoring program to students who feel like they're falling behind. No, he doesn't need tutoring. He understands the lesson plan just fine. Oh, Dr. Radovich is right. I could use the extra help. I'm happy to do that for you, Sonny. We'll meet after school and figure out a game plan. But um, we need to know what's going on with you. Are you sure there's not anything else that you want to talk to us about? No, that's it. I'll just do better, I promise. May I be excused? Jackie. Thought you'd come visit me once or twice. Couldn't school, you know. Yeah, that excuse doesn't really work on me, Jackie. What do you want from me? A little support. Last time I saw you, I got maced and you ran off. Every man for himself. You taught me that, right? I got arrested by real cops and all you do is look in the other direction? I was scared too, okay? And my mom... I heard you weren't living at home anymore. Yeah, they, uh, they found out that I was living at home without supervision, so they came and took me. Who's they? Some cop. And he took you? Where? He was trying to protect me. Trust nobody. You hear me? No one's got your back, except me. Right. I gotta get to class. You gonna be a nurse now? Um, uh, yeah, I'm training to be one of those guys that sits in the ambulance, emergency medical technician. And you think you'd be good at that? <laughs> okay, okay, I just miss you, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. You gonna be studying all night or can I take you out? <laughs> What is wrong with you? I gotta go. What are you looking at? Stop it. My mom once told me, smiling's contagious. She said, if you smile at someone, eventually they'll smile back. But it doesn't work with you. Sorry, I'm just not, not in the mood. Cliff came back today, my boyfriend. And it's just not good timing. How come? Well, my mom's supposed to come home. And I want to stay out of trouble. Is she? feeling any better? I guess so. I'm a little nervous though. I don't know how alert she's gonna be. Yeah. That must be stressful. 
if you need help with anything, just let me know. Thanks. Sunny? How are you gonna meet up with Dr. Radovich if you're down here all afternoon? How'd you do that? You're Theo. He taught me well as a kid. I wish he was here to train me. Hmm. It looks like someone's already taking care of that for you. So who's the rat? Because I know Jackie didn't tell you. I actually didn't even know about Jackie being involved until today. Is that why you brought me to the office? Are you setting me up? Am I even feeling English? Calmate. I brought you into the office today because you're failing history grade. It's gonna mess up any chance you think you have of attending your dream school. You're starting to sound like Adrian. Is that who told you, Adrian? No, it doesn't matter who told me. You gotta help me, Mom. Well, Dr. Radovich said that she would give you a chance to make it right. Can you just send my GPA back to province now? You want me to lie for you? You don't understand. I need to fight. I need to make this money for the summer program. What happened to your scholarship? I never had it. I didn't get it. You lied to me about that too? I wasn't supposed to be this way. You decided to ditch class so that you can make money to pay for a program that won't take you with failing grades? Well, I guess that's it. You're not gonna go anyways. Why? I'm not gonna lie to protect you. You know what? I don't need this. You're gonna get sick. Pour me something else. Tough day? It's the worst. This your new chachi? Yeah, you like it? I love it. It's fire, bro. Congrats. Thanks. You should make me something. Entrance. Rewalk. Be dope. Anytime, man. Got you. Give me something to drink? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So you're everywhere, huh? He's here by my invite. Leave him alone. Well, you're welcome to stay here anytime you'd like. Go home. Do the extra credit you need. Look, boxing is one thing. Mo will take care of you. But this thing is different, trust me. Then what you still doing here, Jackie? Sonny, we're leaving. With him? No, look, we gotta go home. I'll see you later, Cliff. Hey, man. Oh, oh, whoa. Relax, 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 relax. Everyone, everyone, Jackie, you too. Get a drink. Cliff's home. This guy's got a big fight coming up. Let's party like we always do. Bed for me, Dad? Yeah, brought it in last night.
Hey. 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 Why don't you say we take what we learned in EMT prep and bring it to real life? What do you mean? Want to help me bring home my mom? Really? I, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Thanks. A lot. This is my favorite brother and sister duo. You're out? Posted bail a couple weeks ago. Thanks for asking. So, I hear there's a fight that I want to be a part of. We're putting our bets on Yori. What can you tell me about him? He's from a couple towns over. Reputation as one of the best fighters in the area. But can he win? Who's he slated to fight? Bailey. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough fight. What's that? Think Bailey would take this if I tell him to throw the fight? The kid doesn't care about money. But if you can find a weaker contender, we could put him in with Yuri and he'll lose naturally. How much are we even talking here? 15 grand. Can you guarantee? If he wins. We're gonna make sure he does. Works for me. Come on, boys. Hey. So, Provincetown ended up giving me a special scholarship and refunded me the summer tuition program money. Good for you. No, this is good for you. It's my money, and I want you to have it so you can go to the program. Why me? Because I believe in you, and I know you'll pay me back, and you can do it slowly, honestly. You mean not boxing, Adrian? Just say it. I care about you, and I don't want you to get sucked up into this crazy world. Since when did this become more about your pride than your future, Sonny? Maybe I have a different future than you thought. Please, just take the money. I don't want the money. And I'm starting to think I didn't get that scholarship to Provincetown because it was never meant to be. And you're meant to be a boxer? Boxing is the only thing I'm good at. Well, you're making the wrong choice, and a dangerous one. Copy that. Uh, there we go. Uh, right. Is it good on your side there? Yep, uh, we're good. Ay, gracias, mija. There we go. Oh, now it's time for a thousand comfy pillows. <laughs> oh, let me get her a cup of water. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Oh, you're quite the team, right? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Fernanda, por favor. You should go home. Are you gonna be okay here alone? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I've been well trained. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll, I'm gonna go. All right. Wait. Well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go that way. Gonna, that way, right? It's, about my boy, how you reminded me of him. Well, I feel in my heart that he's, he's watching out over you from upstairs. So get ready. Get ready, because you're getting bumped up a slot in the night. To what? Main event. What? I fought Yori? What's in my call, kid? Shake it off. Well, listen to me. Don't go toe to toe with him. That's when it's the quickest. You want to stick and move and always throw them off. Do not stop jumping. Yuri's quick, but he gets dizzy. 
Do not stop bouncing. Keep moving as much, that's it. Keep moving as much as possible. You see an opening, bam, pop him, and then make him chase you around. You don't have the same endurance you do, kid, or the smarts. You remember that. It's time. You ready to become a star? What's this you're doing? You earned this. Hi, Dad. I need to talk to you about something. I can't talk right now, sweetie. Let me call you back. Okay, but it's important. Okay, let me call you back. Hey, sorry about that. I had to take that call. So now back to what you were saying. This is happening tonight? Hey! What's this? Our money. For Yori. Anybody else? Yeah, me. Put your money on, kid. Mendoza. Sunny? Yeah, and I'd like to speak with him. He's unavailable and about to go into the ring. Who are you? I'm Nathan, and I'm his cousin. His cousin? Does he know you're here? Not yet. I, um, wait here. I'll bring him to you after the fight. All right. Okay, people, let the big night begin! <laughs> The big headlining fight of the night with a big twist. In the red corner, the defending champ in this fight, the beast, the man fatal to win tonight.
Okay, fight on. Don't forget the text and then it'll be on my cue, not a second sooner. You got that? Breathe deep, relax, I'm proud of you. You're doing great. But you know, losing is part of this game. Alright? We're not losing this one, Coach. This one's mine, Coach. Oh, you got it. You got it, boy. Run! What happened? Run! What happened? I don't know. Somebody ran us out. Who would do that? I don't know. We'll find out later. 